sorry. Nope. No way. What's up, Flow Track? I mean, crazy day the first day. Let's walk. We're on the track. Mm. We'll walk the track. We're gonna walk 200 meters, Lane and, we're gonna, and we're gonna walk 200 meters, and we're gonna react to day one. Kevin, yes. First thoughts. Badger dominance in the 5,000. Yes. yes. Alicia Monson, as expected, has the biggest kick. Puts away Wayne Kalati in the last 200 meters. And for the men, Warren McDonald just opened it up there. Um, beats Joe Klecker, who ran a really good race, but the Badgers go two for two in the 5,000. They get Hoare through in the mile, which is good for the men. I guess the men's team race, they still have an opportunity, but DMR, Hoare runs the 12 and not the mile, so they finish seventh. They only get two points there, but great day if you're a Wisconsin fan. Yeah, moving on, speaking of the DMR, that finish, I, the, it, it's deja vu for Grant Fisher all over again, but this time for the win. <laughs> well, here, how do you <laughs> contemplate running 354 and then losing? It hurts. It's, it's got to hurt. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely got to hurt. Uh, I mean, yeah, he, Grant Gibbs is, is a, one of the best, you know, post-race guys to talk to. He'll always speak even when he's disappointed. And obviously it's going to hurt for a little bit. He does have to focus on that 3K. And he, he does have a great chance to win in that 3K. But when you put in a 354 effort and get beat in the last 50 meters, that, that sinks. But Notre Dame is, you know, this wasn't a fluke. They, they showed signs last year with uh, Yard Nagese. They delivered on being 926-10, number one seed. I mean, you got to give it to him. Nagese is a star now. I mean, yeah. that's established. If he wasn't before, he's a full-on superstar now. And this was his, I mean, it's, it's it, most athletes don't get that like coming out party in such epic fashion, <clears throat> but he gets it. And uh, whew, that, that's one of the better ones in recent memory. I think back, maybe, I, I don't know, was this more epic than when Chez a few years ago Came back after the 5K. I no, mean, as no. far as as far as far as DMRs go on the men's side, this was perfect. This is this is how it should end. Yeah. Yes, I mean it was a great race, but Chez, what Chez did was tripling, and that that was yeah. more that was different. Most epic fan performance though, because right, yeah, yeah, Travis, yeah, yeah. shoot these bleachers right here, because about an hour and a half ago, that was occupied by about 20 members of the Notre Dame track team yeah. that drove down in five cars. It was a 10 hour drive from South Bend to Birmingham just to watch the DMR. They're going home tomorrow. They're not yeah. watching any other events. <laughs> Before the race started, it was like a, a basketball game in here. Yeah. Let's go Irish, clap. I mean, it was electric here yeah. and they delivered for the fans. What, what a race. Sean Carlson, we were, I was right next to Sean Carlson. We filmed him, reacted it. And I was like watching the entire race and he was all focused. And a lot of pacing. Lot, yeah, a lot of pacing. He would, he, he would, <laughs> the athlete would come by him at the start finish line, and he would say something, and then he'd walk away and walk this. Yeah, he was all business. He, he was, was all back. business. And then wait for him to come, and then he'd say something, and he'd be like, ah. Yeah. And then the last one looked like he was, he was doing like a signal to him too, right? And like, there was like a little bit because Fisher had that lead. I mean, I thought Fisher was going to win it. I did too. Fisher kind of yeah. separated in the back in the back turn, yeah. but man, he had it and. Carlson went nuts, and it was great. It was just great performance all around. But still, strong performance for Fisher, because he ran 354, but that's right. man, Notre Dame, got it done. Yeah. Well, it, this sets up for a great 3,000. Yes, yeah, so who you got? I mean, I'm gonna stick with McDonald. That was my pre-meat pre, pre uh, meet pick. But I mean, he looked stronger than ever, but Fisher, yeah, he's disappointed, but he ran 354, yeah. so it shows you what type of uh, closing speed. Who do you think will be fresher? Mc McDonald after running 1340? Or Fisher. Well, McDonald got off 16 more minutes rest. So. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I would. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. Who knows? I, I think they'll both be pretty. Uh, you know, they'll be 85 percent tomorrow, which is for all, both of them is probably enough to win. I just throw that ballpark out. I do want to talk about tactics in the women's 5K. Uh, we thought the no, excuse me, not the dream. We thought New Mexico women would Sand maybe try to take six. it. How did that happen? Yeah. Sand Sand. Sand. Uh, we thought the Notre Dame. Gosh. New Mexico women would take the 5K out fast, maybe try, try to take, take the sting out of a Monson's kick. Anybody surprised that she didn't do it? I mean, I, no, that, that they didn't do cross. it? I mean, they eventually picked it up. I mean, it ended up being a 1530 yeah. race. Yeah. So it ended up getting down there. Ooh, but it's deep right here. It Let's looked, not fall off. Oh, man. Yeah. It looked a lot like cross to me, where Danny Jones played the role of Alicia Monson. Yeah. Right? Kalati yeah. makes the big move, and then, but I mean, O'Shea was up there early trying to keep it honest, but Kalati's on who really takes the pace on it halfway, and then, and then uh, Monson has the, has the kick. But. All right, let's talk team battle on the men's side. Is Wisconsin done? No, they're still in it. They're still in it. Yes, we thought they would win the DMR. They only got seventh, which is eight points bad. But 
<laughs> Texas Tech had a really bad meet. They didn't get a lot of guys into no. the final. Florida did everything they needed to do. They had a great meet. Yeah, some they, guy for them in the 60, the 60 hurdles in the long jump. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Outside of hallway, yeah. Sonny Brown ran number well. Two, Ryan Clark got in. Number two qualifier. The 400 meter runner got in. So Florida's looking good. Yeah. Wisconsin, it's going to be hard for them to win, but they're still in contention for podium, which, again, will be incredible for two guys at the podium. With, uh, basically, they have a good heptathlon. Who, no. who, who spoke to Ollie, and why did he not anchor? I spoke to him. They said they had gotten a bunch of, over a bunch of different options and stuff. And mm -hmm. They eventually settled on that. I think he was tired. I mean, yeah. he said, man, that, that was, I was burnt a little bit. Like, Oof. like that, that 1200 leg going yeah. out so fast, I think, uh, well, really stressed him a little bit. The I mean, good news, tough. the good news is he only has a mile final and a D in a 3k final tomorrow. So, <laughs> well, I think he'll be fine for the mile final. I don't know for the three. He said he's looking forward to racing with Morgan though. Like he's, he's there you go. a cool thing. Oh, uh, women's DMR. We didn't really talk about yeah, that. Yeah. Oregon women. That's what we thought would happen. We thought they would win. For a second though, BYU had a big lead. Yeah. BYU. China held on. BYU is still a very impressive. Erica Burke Jarvis. Yeah. The mother, still incredible run. That, that was I was impressed. But Oak State second. I think I, I think we all thought it was going to be Oregon to lose, and with, when you have the best miler in the nation as your anchor, and she got this baton in the lead, yeah. it's kind of it's well, kind of hard. Let's get a shot of these too, because these played a those troublemakers. Uh, an interesting role in this <laughs> event. Do you know what happened? Well, they said it was Talk on about the pole vault. The, the pole, vault. pole vault. They said couldn't tell. Eight points bad. Uh, <laughs> they said it was at one height. It was actually at a not that height. A height higher. A height higher, so people missed and took five, attempts. Five, advertised is 568, reality 573. Right. One so guy made it though. One guy made it, so he got to keep that attempt, <laughs> yeah. but the people who missed got to go down and, and then and then try again as if it was normal. All this led to a 62 hour pole vault competition. I mean, it was literally is, four uh, hours of this, right? Yeah, I mean, Mondo won. We knew Mondo was gonna win. Um, Peyton Oderall wins the, the shot. Yes. We knew he was gonna win. So the field events. LSU also won in the long jump. Ray, Ray Bond Gray. I mean, four centimeters separate top four guys. Wow. In that. I mean, Holloway, yes, gets the hurt, but loses by two centimeters. I mean, just an incredibly close competition. And didn't get his last three jumps because he was running over things, so, running fast. We're about to complete the slowest 200 meters in human history. Should we do another lap while we... Can, yeah, we'll, we, we'll we, we got to do predictions. Yes. yes. Have we done all the, the For, finals? Team-wise, yeah. team-wise though, on the women's mm -hmm. side, Arkansas still heavy favorites with 20 points. We'll keep going another lap. No, heavy favorite right now over USC with 20 points. <laughs> New Mexico women can still podium. Oh, podium, okay. They can still podium. Because they're leading right now. They have uh, 17 shout points. Out, shout out to Charlotte Prowse, by the way, from yeah. Mexico. She ties and the guy. They finished at the same time in their four? No. They went 4-5. Four, 4-5. Five. Four, five. Yeah, four, five. Four, five. Anyway, so and then on the men's side, Florida's looking good. They're right now the favorites going in. Houston coming up strong yeah, right Houston now. They good. have a 100% legitimate shot to win this. If They got a guy in every final on, in, on the sprint side, and they're all looking good. So, Yeah, Kamari Montgomery looked really yes. fast. 45-32 yeah. win. It, which for him wouldn't be that big of a deal, even though it was a prelim and a fast time. But everybody else ran like in the 46s. Yeah, it was kind of weird. He, if he doesn't win, that's going to be a huge shock tomorrow. The sprints in general, I mean, other than Grant Holloway, were pretty muted. Like, took time Yeah. Time no, I like, agree. It, did, it didn't come across as like a, a ultra fast track. But yeah, today. Houston has a 60 guy, 60 hurdle, a 200, two 400 guys, and a 4x4. Four four, so don't they got a lot of options. All right, don't which collegiate records are falling tomorrow? Uh, how about none? None. 60 hurdle. Men's 60. Oh, yeah, that's right. I already picked that. Yeah. Holly's going to run 739 tomorrow. Ooh. Does he win the 60? Yes. Ooh, I don't think he wins the 60. Uh, he looked pretty good today. I, yeah. he, he looked great. Yeah. No, man. I, I think mean, Odadu is going to win the 60. So, yeah, Odadu did not look as strong in the, in the 60. He only ran 6'6. Six, six. So, I, he had the 200 and he looked good in the two. But I think Grant's like, oh, the number two seed is my teammate. Yeah. That gives him even more confidence. I think. Yeah. 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 That's a good point. Um, good point. The men's mile, I'm gonna be honest, I, I think I've, I'm, 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 we're good. Not yet! <laughs> we will. All right, I'm gonna take that guy up on his offer pretty soon. Um, the men's mile, do we what have a mask? Do we want a beer? Oh, um, really? Is he serious? Do, <laughs> do we have as much confidence in Ollie? Do, do you think Ollie's gonna win? I, I think, feel like he's not. I don't, Ollie, though, always looks like. He's struggling in his face when he runs. Okay. So I think I think Ollie's Gordon, still. Gordon looks in their faces. I think it. Ollie's still gonna win. I think uh, I'd say he has a. I mean, he has a, he's the favorite just based on percentages. But I don't. I would take the field over him if I had to. But I think he's the favorite. Well, uh, yeah, it's easy to take nine guys over one. Well, I won't do that with the and Holloway. Yeah, okay, true. Women's mile. Nelson looked good on her home track. Nelson gave a great interview after. Not only is she coming back from for that broken foot where she missed six months. This year she had mono and low iron. Just a whole bunch of uh, issues that she's now. 
put behind her. She had an awesome cheering section too. This is mm -hmm. her uh, home, 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 home track. Hometown. Yeah, home, home city let's, here. Let's, let's keep going. Travis's go. enthusiasm has been, is, is dwaning here. 800, they, the men said that they're gonna go for a collegiate record, sub 145 tomorrow. I don't think that's that? happening. Yes, Dixon both, that? both well, Hopple. Hopple said it first, and I didn't prompt him to it. I said, <laughs> what, what time is it gonna take? And then Dixon, of course, agreed, because you don't want to be the guy that says this no. That would be awesome kind of, if someone did. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I don't see that one coming out. I know there are prelims, but 148, 149 prelims, that's not going to happen. 400s, we mentioned it. Uh, on the men's side, Irby didn't look good. She's going to be in the slow heat tomorrow. Uh, I think that was one of the bigger surprises. Yeah. Um, the twos went relatively to form. Kayla, no. Kayla White? White? Yeah, she, White, looked, yeah. she looked good in the hurdles in the two. Keep going. All right, who's winning the four by four, and are we going to see a collegiate record in the four by four? So, well, the, 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 hold on. I, okay. um, sorry. Sorry, the, the big development, I know you said they have another guy, but Deadman for Texas A&M, yes. like, pulled a hammy today. Not confirmed, but he did drop out of the open four. So that could be a big thing for Texas A&M. Houston's going to win. Yeah, Houston's going to win. win. I, don't, I don't think this track is fast. I don't think they can bring it. And also, OB's going to be coming off a four and a two. Yeah. yeah. So be a that crash. guy was pumped coming off the track. He yeah. was like walking like moving right off the track he's excited to go that team came ready to perform I, I, i'm excited to see what they i don't know where i was going with that but the, <laughs> exciting um what else we got what is the threes women's three thousand who's winning the three thousand uh, paul. paul monson paul that's paul. gonna be fun it's gonna be classic paul and mcdonald paul mcdonald McDonald looked good today, and I know there was no Grant Fisher, but Kleckers was the real deal. Like, he had to, I, I think they, what did, we gotta look at their 400, oh, I think it was 56, 57. I gotta do a shout out. BYU men showed up, went 3-4. Yeah. I remember, I'm not sure if you guys remember last year's outdoor, a lot of the BYU men, they were finishing dead last in a lot of distance events. Yeah. But to show up here, because people didn't think BYU is more of a track distance, they, sometimes they didn't have the best yeah. performances, but 3-4, that was impressive. It was fast race, so I was very impressed with McMillan and with Young. And uh, Manch was ninth, but still put himself in there. He's a freshman. So. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty that's close it, to it. The, uh, shout out to these guys. Uh, very sick yesterday. Yes. Still very sick. I'm a little sick. Making it though. <laughs> yeah, making it. Uh, me, I feel good. That means I'll probably get a flu tomorrow. But signing off. Day There's two. There's only one of us tomorrow. Day yeah. two. Bye. Bye. Is that ninety?